हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अनिल के शर्मा वेलकम टू माय चैनल ओरेकल टेक इंडिया इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड एनोनिमस ब्लॉक इन पीएलएसक्यूएल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ब्लॉक्स व्हाट इज ब्लॉक बट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो लेक्चर प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो व्हाट इज ए ब्लॉक इन पीएलएसक्यूएल a plsql block is defined by a plsql block is defined by declare begin exception and end keyword a plsql block is defined by declare keyword begin keyword exception keyword and end keyword for example for example when you go to the sql command prompt let's suppose this is sql command prompt for writing any program in pl sql you have to write keywords like first declare this declare keyword is used to declare any variables used in the program but this declare keyword is optional so declare any variables here the next keyword that you use in pl sql program is begin keyword and this begin keyword is a very important keyword unless or until specify this begin keyword your program will not be executed so for the execution of any pl sql statement you have to specify this begin keyword and this is not optional so right here any code for the program the third keyword that we use is exception if any error occurs in declare section or begin section your error is shown here in exception area so your error is shown here but this is also optional and the last keyword that we use in the pl sql program is end keyword and this end keyword is used to end the plsql or sql statement right here terminator sign and then give a forward slash this forward slash is used to execute the whole program in plsql 
so what we have understood that a block actually consists of four keywords declare begin exception and end keyword so you you can also say that declare begin exception and end keyword all the four keywords collectively make a block in pl sql so this is all about a block in pl sql now let us understand how many types of this block in pl sql so blocks are mainly of two types so right here blocks are mainly of two types first is anonymous block and the second is named blocks now understand what is an anonymous block so anonymous so anonymous block it has no name what is anonymous block anonymous block has no name it has no name and if i do not give any name to this anonymous block it can also not be stored in any database server in oracle server so it can not be stored in database server it is created in the same session when you go to the sql command prompt you actually create one session when you come out of the sql command prompt you just get out of one uh, you just get out of one session so anonymous block is created in the same session it is created in the same session and executed in the same session so what is an anonymous block anonymous block has no name anonymous block has no name if it has no name it cannot be stored in database server it is created in the same session and executed in the same session so this is all about the anonymous block now come to the named blocks so right here 
named named blocks have a specific specific and unique name for them so when you create any named blocks you actually give the name to the program if you give the name to the program it is called named blocks so you have to give a specific a specific and unique name to the named blocks they are stored as the database objects in the oracle server so if you give any name to the program that becomes named blocks and so the named blocks can be stored in database server so they are stored as the database objects in the oracle server since they are available since they are available as database objects they can be referred to or used as long as it is present in the server so if you give any name to the program it becomes named blocks it can be stored in the database server and whenever this named pl sql blocks this named blocks are required you can also fetch this named blocks this named blocks from the oracle server because it is present in the server so let's see uh, the examples of named blocks so for example procedure function
pipe case and triggers are named PL square block. So procedure, function, package and triggers are the example of named PLSQL blocks. So we would, uh, we would also see procedure, function, package and triggers in the later chapters. Now let's have a full concentration on anonymous block. So right here anonymous block and anonymous block is a PLSQL block which is not given any name and is stored in the database. So as I have already told you that anonymous block has no name and if it has no name it cannot be stored in the database or database server or Oracle server they need to be created in the same session and executed in the same session. So anonymous block is created in the same session and is executed in the same session. Now we would see the example of anonymous block. For example, create and execute a simple anonymous block that outputs hello this is Oracle
tech india so here we would create and execute a simple anonymous block that will actually print the message hello this is oracle tech india so for creating anonymous block first of all go to the sql command prompt let's suppose this is the sql command prompt so first time when you go to sql command prompt you have to enable set server output on so enable for enabling set server output on right set server output on this statement actually uh, helps to show the result to the display or to the console unless or until you enable this statement your result of the program will not be shown to you so if you go to the first if you if you first time go to the sql command prompt first of all enable this statement and then write any program in pl sql now i write here anonymous block so right here begin and then dbms output dot put underscore line this is actually the statement will print the message hello this is oracle tech india so dbms underscore output dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then give a bracket and in single quotation write hello comma this is oracle tech india now close the comma and close the bracket and then give terminator sign and then end this statement by writing end keyword terminator sign and then forward slash and then press enter this program will be executed and the message hello this is oracle tech india will be displayed to you so here in this program i have not given any name so that is why this program is called an anonymous block if i close this program i would not be able to fetch this program because this is the anonymous block and anonymous block is created in the same session and executed in the same session and the result is displayed to you in the same session once we get out of this sql command prompt your anonymous block will also disappear from here and then we would not be able to fetch this anonymous block so this is all about the anonymous block now let us do it practically by going to the sql command prompt first time when you log in to the sql command prompt enable a statement set server output on for displaying any result to the console so right here set server output on and then press enter now i will write an anonymous block 
for displaying messages like hello this is oracle tech india so right here begin dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then give bracket single quotation and then give message hello this is oracle tech india semicolon and this statement forward slash and then press enter now the message hello this is oracle tech india is displayed to you so we have learned how an anonymous block is created and executed clear this screen clear scr press enter so thank you thanks for watching my video please don't please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you